Uh, hey there, fellas. Welcome to the Garage 54 YouTube channel. As always, I am the host, Vlad. And honestly, some of the ideas we've been getting sent in are pretty ridiculous. In today's episode, we've been getting a bunch of requests. And yeah, you're already seeing this household radiator. It's placed onto this car. And by popular demand, I'll be removing the stock radiator, replacing it with this household one. And we'll see what happens. Is the engine going to overheat? Is it not? Is it even going to get up to temp? I mean, these sorts of radiators are also good at dissipating heat. Whatever, we'll see. We usually figure things out as we go. We tend to be on point, quick and elegant. Okay, let's do this. Originally uploaded in 2018. So here's where we're at. It's all fairly simple. The radiator has been hung using cable ties, wire and self-tappers, right in front of the bumper. But we had to flip it. That's because of where the in and out points are located. We need them to be on the right side of the car. Because the hoses are right here, the airflow should be pretty good while the car is moving. The only thing really left to do would be to connect the engine to the radiator and pour in either water or coolant, whatever we can find. But I think we'll just use water. It is not super cold outside, so it shouldn't freeze. We'll warm it up in here or see how hot this gets, if it even does. After all, this is a 700cc engine. It's pretty small, but it still generates enough heat for the cabin to get pretty warm. If it weren't like Swiss cheese, it would have worked even better. We'll wait for Vladimir to bring the hoses, fit them and try this out. What do you say to this, Elon Musk? Progress report. This is looking really nice. And I just... love how it's placed. I mean, just look at this radiator in front of the car. This is really neat. This is just a masterpiece of an install. We've done all of the plumbing, poured in some water, it's all good. And now we just need to start the car and attempt to warm up this radiator. The engine heats up, thermostat opens, and who knows how long that might take. I did not disconnect the fan, it's still triggered by the sensor. But let's fire this up and get a more hands-on experience. Go for a drive and see what's up. All right, excellent. The engine works. And now we just wait for it to get up to temp. We'll be touching the hoses to monitor how things are going. Oh, that is hot. We'll allow it to get warm. And after we're done testing this setup while stationary, with the car standing parked right where it is, I just want to take this out for a drive. On the move, we'll have 
airflow through the radiator with the air and the coolant exchanging heat with each other and the heat dissipating in the air. Okay, so this system of ours works, the radiator is warm, so is the engine, though we did have to give it some gas. It smoked the place up. It took a while for the thermostat to open, I mean, it is a small engine. Tomorrow morning I'll come back, fire it up and go for a drive. I might even visit some kind of repair shop and have a chat with whoever works there. Or, uh, yeah, go over to some shop and be like, hey guys, can you clean my radiator? <laughs> All right, we wait until sunrise and go for a drive. Okay, guys, so it is a new day, and this hasn't gotten warm yet. I mean, we did work out yesterday that it takes a long time for this to get warm at idle. The volume seems to have increased, because I dropped maybe about 3 liters of coolant from there, and to put in around 5. But what we need to do is get this warm, uh, let's go. Everything is ready. Let's drive around and warm up the radiator. Some car mechanics. What's up? So look, um... Something's wrong with my cooling system, can you clean it? I thought your prop shaft fell off. No, I didn't. Can we clean the system? Sergey, I mean... The heater isn't working right. My guess is that the radiator might be clogged or something. It needs a clean. Maybe with compressed air? Compressed air? I'm being told it needs compressed air. I want to see how he does that. What's up? It's leaking. And it's warm. Oh, it is very warm. You should have purged the air. We did. The leak? That's because of the foam tape. As always. Would you want to blow the air through? You said it needs cleaning. I'm offering compressed air. I mean, this is also good. The fan isn't switching on. It's more than up to the task. Is there anybody else? Oh, I see a shop over there as well. Let's pay them a visit. Come with me. I want to ask you something. There's something wrong with the cooling system. Can you have a look and maybe give me some advice? <laughs> what can be done? Radiator is leaking. There was a small leak. What do you think? That's a terrific cooling system. Terrific cooling system. Seems to be doing its job. Go ahead, feel it. I mean, the radiator itself gets warm. So we, um... No, the entire thing is warm. Check it out. Awesome. It's getting warm all around. The lower part should also get warm soon. Is it cold? Okay, so the heat isn't making it all the way down. Nice. That tells us that this works. It works. And very well. We're looking good, guys. This setup works. Terrific. The thing with this radiator is that it is very effective. It cools the liquid very well. After all, we don't want the engine to overheat. We didn't expect this sort of effect. We thought the entire thing is going to get warm, but no. What does get warm is the upper portion from the entry point and all the way across, while the lower part is cold. So the fluid is cooling down. We've also made it to this lot in front of a store. And hopefully we can have a chat with somebody going by. Driving a car. I want to ask people what they think about this solution. Let's find out. 
Oh, we even have female drivers. What do you think about that solution over there? I didn't have a car radiator, so I used a household one. It's nice. Do you like it? Very much. Would you like to modify your car? No? No, thank you. But it looks neat, doesn't it? We can even look for a pink one. Can I take a picture? Of course, by all means. Hey, buddy. Can I ask you a serious question? See how I solved my problem? It's just that I didn't have a car radiator. But what do you think? Is this all right? I think so. It should, I mean, the whole thing doesn't even get warm. Then that's how it should be. So it provides proper heat exchange. It does look a bit weird, though. It's nice. Like, unusual. Are we good to go? Of course. All right, we got approved. Thank you. Right, guys, at this point, I can tell you that this has been a success. This experiment has gone well. The radiator does exactly what it's supposed to. It was cooling down the coolant, preventing the engine from overheating. And the takeaway from all of this is that, well, you can even say that this is a bit of a hack. Because when you punch a hole in your radiator, while driving somewhere, where you have shops, and a car radiator would go for 30,000 rubles, and a household one would cost 4,000. But if it's a larger engine, you can get a bigger one that costs 8 or 6. You connect it using some hoses and clamps, and off you go. Without worrying about overheating your engine, or your rings sticking, knocks developing, and so on. But this worked beautifully, and that's all I got for you. Suggestions, comment, give this video a thumbs up, catch you guys later.